arm and fires off the leaf blade, forcing the opponent's first protect shield. The opponent will be looking to lower our attack with the rock tomb, but no attack drop really matters when you're using a mighty Gallade. Again, our man farms up, fires off the leaf blade bait, forcing the opponent's final protect shield. The opponent looks for that fall, incinerate farm down. They don't get it, so it's time to hit him with that bang. There it is. Shout out to the GO Oxford U. Buddy, we are long overdue an upload. So welcome back to the channel today. We have an incredible battle submission from my friend Arman. Arman has invested in the catch cup. I know a lot of trainers aren't willing to do this, myself included. Well, I'll be honest, it's not that I'm unwilling to do it. I've got zero dust as I spent it all on Master League Premier. Do I regret it? Absolutely not. This season's Team Rocket takeover was pretty disappointing outside of Pidgeot and Darmanitan. There's essentially nothing to build, so I'm not rebuilding Shadow Pokemon I've already got. However, if you, like Arman, doesn't have some top meta threats like Golbat, Gallade and Steelix, it's time to invest because you're about to see these three shadows are absolute monsters. Without any further ado, let's get into the battle! And in game one, we lead our fighter into a flyer. Not fantastic. We see the instant pivot into Golbat Switch. Takes the turns. The opponent is going to outpace us by a single turn. Two of Central Ice Beam. Our man correctly shields up the Ice Beam, then over farms. And he's full sending the Shadow Ball. Golbat love to Poison Fang. The opponent looks to call the Poison Fang. And hashtag no baits on this channel, our man. Then farms up, fires off the Poison Fang on the CMP tie, forcing a Protect Shield. As always, Golbat putting in so much work. We see the instant no shield deployed. Arman says, Golbat, thank you very much for your contribution. We've now left Mantine in perfect farm down range. Arman waits out his clock, sends out Gallade. Gallade gets a very nice psycho cut farm down and leaves with residual energy. The opponent then sends out a Cineroar, and that is by no means a response. Again, Arman falls in the close combat, close combat. Ah, oh, go shielded. Boo, Mr. Opponent. Arman, unlike me, is undeterred. He's still hunting that big boom. We shoot up the blast burn. The opponent then switch out into Skarmory. I think we should hold this energy. But our man, very happy to get his big boom. Close combat near one shot Skarmory. We then see the snipe into Steelix. I think that boom is actually going to cost us this battle. However, it's catch cut. You've got a boom when the opportunity arises. Speaking of booms, we're about to get boom. Steelix gets one shot back out. Comes Gallade. We look to reach the close combat. Unfortunately, the snail takes us out. And we're going to take a heartbreaking loss. In the next battle, we see Vic in the lead. The opponent say switches into the Pokemon. Zonic likes to call the GOAT. Alolan Marowak. Our man looking for some chip and dip action. Fired off the Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade certainly didn't look resisted. And then we make a very nice Bone Club catch onto Steelix. The irony that Bone Club being super effective, which absolutely tickled, and our Leaf Blade being resisted, they did half their health. This is why I love Shadow Pokemon. The opponent fires off yet another Bone Club. And quite frankly, Steelix doesn't give a shit. Back out comes Vic. Our man fires off the Psychic Fang. Psychic Fang forces of protection. If the opponent look for the farm down, we'll reach another. The opponent wisely dumped their energy. Leaf Blade, of course, going to be easily secure. And the knockout, what the fuck? The opponent acid sprayed. That was such a random play. Unless that is a single moved acid spray, Vic. I've got no idea why you wouldn't go for the cheaper Leaf Blade. We then see the pivot into Golbat. Golbat fires off the Poison Fang bait, which Groudon instantly shields. We then go for the wham, bam, combo play. Pivot out into Gallade. Get that Groudon off my screen. Back out. Comes Victory Bell. Surely this one's a Leaf Blade, right? Or not? The opponent fire off yet another Acid Spray. Our man, two shield flex. Gets the Psycho Cut farm down. And that was such a strange battle. I was actually lost for words. Heading into the next one. Glade into Whimsicott, our man says, no thank you, we pivot into Steelix, and again we're met by Incineroar. We've already seen Steelix doesn't tank a Blast Burn particularly well, or not well at all actually, as we're straight in and straight out. Well, let's be honest, this looks frankly quite rough, our man. Sends back out Glade, farms up, fires off the close combat on the CMP side, looking to nuke the opponent through two protections, the opponent fucked about. They found out Gallade gets yet another big boom. However, we are now switch locked against this Whimsicott with a lowered defense. The opponent give us a lifeline, shielding up the resisted Leaf Blade. Our man going to put all his hopes and dreams on the mighty Golbat. I've been singing Golbat's praises. Come on, Bat, don't let me down. Oh, hello, trainer. ABA Fairy Golbat. Smelling blood, fires off the Shadow Ball. The opponent puts up that Protect Shield, but Golbat now has a 2 to no shield advantage, and the opponent has zero fast move pressure into us. Golbat resists absolutely everything from Whimsicott, so the correct play is just a two shield, whatever this G Weezy throws. Arman shields at the first brutal swing, even shields the second arm, and then very nicely over farms before firing off the Shadow Ball. It's going to be high G Weezy, by G Weezy. 
Joss Whimsicott does remain our man. Going straight for the Poison Fang. Poison Fang, not the hardest hitting move, but this is a Shadow Goal Bat. It secures the knockout and our man manages to sweep with the bat. GG's and thanks for playing. Heading into the next battle, we see Gallade into Skarmory. Some Shadow on Shadow Crime. Our man farms up. Looks to YOLO the close combat. Does the opponent respect the damage? Close combat near one shots the opponent. We then see a very nice snipe. Snipe him with the Steel Snake. Thunderfang deletes the opponent in the blink of an eye, and then they send out the Quagman. I am personally a huge fan of the Quagman. I actually think he's the best mud boy in this meta, but let's not kid ourselves. It's not quite incineroar, so we easily tank the mud bomb arm and then farms up, returns fire with the psychic fang, and you can see just how little damage output Steelix puts out, even as a shadow. Arman just uses Steelix as the damage sponge. Of course, Mud Bomb will be knocking out from that range, and out comes Gallade. Arman very nicely over farms. Beautiful energy management, throwing the Leaf Blade on the CMP to I get that Quagman off my screen. The opponent's final Pokemon is Glissapod, and that is going to be game over. Leaf Blade will be forcing the first Protect Shield. We send out Golbat Trainer. This is unwinnable, I promise you. But the opponent evidently wants to play it out. So our man says, fuck it, we'll give him that work. The opponent doesn't shield the first Poison Fang because, of course, the next one will be doing more damage. But the opponent at this stage will be saving that shield for next season. Our man wing attack farms down and we take that game. In the next battle, what the heck is that? Is that Pharaoh Seed? Uh-oh, this trainer has entered the wrong league. Clearly, they want to play Little Cup, but this is Catch Cup. Great league edition. The opponent at a severe disadvantage. Close combat forces the protection, then see the pivot into Steelix. Oh dear, the opponent sends out, I don't know, is that Skunky? Who knows, who cares, as we pick up a very easy free win. Our man goes a very nice 4 and one gets his rare candy reward, which is going to allow him to power Golbat all the way up to 1500 CP for set number two. Heading into the next battle. We see the Gallade Mirror. Very nice opponent. The opponent says no thank you and pivot out into Alolan Marowak. Our man once again, going for the chip and dip. Leaf play doesn't do too much damage, but all chip damage is welcome. Arman then pivots out into Steelix, despite this being a typing disadvantage matchup. The opponent fires off the Bone Club. Steelix says, really? Marowak, Bone Club is garbage, and you're not a ground type. The opponent fires off the Shadow Bone the second time. Arman able to withstand the damage and reach the Psychic Fangs. Best case scenario is the opponent gives us a Protect Shield. The opponent does play that game of giving us a Protect Shield, and Arman now sets up Golbat once again for a very nice farm down. Out comes Golbat. Golbat likely will respect the Shadow Bone. The opponent's only going to reach one move, so there's literally no point in baiting. We correctly shield up the Shadow Bone. The opponent not wanting to get farmed down. Switch lock Mantine. Mantine instantly greeted with the Shadow Ball, and that does a lot of damage because Mantine is one very tick boy. Arman is going to shield up the incoming aerial aids, looking to keep Golbat healthy. Arman goes straight for the Poison Fang, looking to force the opponent's final protect shield. The opponent obliges, putting up that protect shield, and do we look to make the catch? We attempt to make the catch unsuccessfully, but we are able to fire off the Leaf Blade, and Leaf Blade will be secure in the knockout. It's now all shields down. Gallade is energy dry, but so is the opponent's. As they did instant switch, the opponent sends back out their own Gallade. Arman able to reach the Leaf Blade, winning the CMP tie. Leaf Blade hits for neutral, and Shadow Gallade hits like a truck, and it gets the opponent very deep into the red. From here, this should be a pretty straightforward victory. The opponent wisely go for the undercharge, but at worst, they're going to reach a leaf blade. They don't even reach that. Golbat is going to be able to wing attack, farm down everything. But we reach the Poison Fang, so why not throw it? Poison Fang is resisted. They're going to be all she wrote. GG's and thanks for playing. In the next battle, we see Shadow Gallade into the Kentucky Fried Chicken Bird of Death. Not fantastic. Interesting, this opponent hasn't invested in Elite TM. They're just using Fire Spin. I think if you're going to use Talonflame, of course, Incinerate is the way to go. It's the only four energy per turn, a four damage per turn quick move. If I thought that was bizarre, the opponent safe switches into Rock Smash Phalanx. Holy crap, Catch Cup really is the Wild West. Phalanx does have access to Counter, so I'd highly recommend that move set. We send out Gallade, get the Psycho Cup farm down. We're going to see Arman shield up the fly. Close combat is resisted. I've landed one of these. It does not look resisted. We YOLO it. The opponent invests that protect shield. Arman able to reach close combat number two. This will either be knocking out or forcing the final protect shield. The opponent double shield. And again, we've managed to get Golbat with shield advantage. Golbat looking to farm up. We play to the CMP tile. We do not win. Shout out Holmes Ice Henry for that quote. We shield up the fly. Arman goes for an undercharge. To be honest, I just hit all the bubbles. Look to knock this thing out. 
because the opponent is going to be able to switch out if we go for an undercharge. The opponent, despite running dreadful movesets, has that IQ and do switch out, saving Talonflame as a potential third shield. Out comes Clodsire. Wincon for us is no Stone Edge. Let's see. Oof, that's a Stone Edge Clod, and that is going to be a loss. GG's to that opponent. Heading into the next battle. We see Gallade into the Snail. This isn't bad for us, to be honest. Even Leaf Blade hits for neutral due to the sub rock type in. We farm up to the close combat bait with the Leaf Blade, forcing the first protect shield. The opponent will be looking to lower our attack, but no attack drop really matters when using Shadow Glade. We shield up the Rock Tomb. Again, we're going for a Leaf Blade bait. Does the opponent fall for the bait? Yes, they do. We force all shields down. The opponent looks for that incinerate farm down. They don't get it, so it's time to hit him with that. Bang! There it is. Get that snail off my screen. The opponent sends out the chunky little squirrel to get the farm down. I haven't seen the quick move yet. Is that tackle? I do believe it's actually mod shot. It's really hard to tell as the squirrel's really small and our snake is really large and covered with that very annoying shadow aura. I love shadow Pokemon, but the shadow aura makes battles really hard to shout cast, especially on my mobile phone. The opponent fires off the Trailblaze, vamping up their attack. We see our man attempt to catch a Trailblaze unsuccessfully. However, the opponent isn't doing anything. I think they've lagged out. It is what it is. This game is absolutely bullshit. The opponent sends out Jellison and concedes the match. Moving swiftly on. In the next battle, we see the battle of Shadow Glass Cannons. Shadow Groudon, a very cool pick from the opponent. But interestingly, not running mod shot. These non-stab Dragon Tails are going to do so much damage to this squishy Gallade. However, Gallade has the pace and advantage. We force the first Protect Shield with the first Leaf Blade. Gallade already at the second. The opponent is committing all Protect Shields in the lead. And we see the pivot into Golbat. Our man last second. Shields up the Fire Punch. The opponent is going to be able to reach Fire Punch number two. And I imagine we just tank this. Actually, our man has other ideas. Double Shields his Golbat in return. Golbat now looks for the full wing attack farm down, which we get. And we leave with so much energy. Out comes that bulky Vulture Mandibuzz Golbat. Going to be spamming out Poison Fang after Poison Fang. The first one doesn't do much, but the second one and the third will do even more as it does come with a 100% chance to debuff the opponent's defence. The second one just about gets them below half health and then stay in school, kids. Learns a count. Did we catch the Aerial Ace? What a play. As nice as that catch was, I think we're still going to lose this battle as our Thunder Fang Steelix has been met by Superior and this is so bad. Of course, Grass does resist Electric, and you can see these Psychic Fangs do nothing. It's a pretty easy win con for the opponent here. Just Frenzy Plant, Vine Whip Farm Down, and then you can Aerial Ace Golbat, and probably Vine Whip Farm Down Gallade. However, the opponent making a huge misplay. Trainer, why are you throwing? This is why you need to count. Well, to be honest, you don't even need to count. You just recognise the next Psychic Fang won't be lethal, so you've got nothing to fear. Back out comes Golbat. Golbat fires off the Poison Fang. I think we still need to catch to make this game back out. Comes Mandibuzz, Golbat, fires off the Poison Fang. Poison Fang gets the opponent low. Arman doesn't make that catch. Oof, have we gifted the match back to the opponent? Let's see, Aerial Ace secures the knockout Gallade. Looks to reach a charge move. Arman manages to reach the Leaf Blade and Leaf Blade is going to pick up the dub. What a roller coaster of emotions. A few misplays from the opponent, but Arman capitalises and comes out victorious. Huge shout out to Arman for a very fun, very emotional shoutcast in the Catch Cup. So if you're enjoying the content, smash that like button. If you're new, consider subscribing. If you like your battles featured on my channel, a link to our battle submission form is down below. And as always, a huge thank you to everyone for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.